afternoon, and welcome to the Anwar Sadat Congressional Gold Medal Design Unveiling. My name is David Eisner, and I am the Assistant Secretary for Management here at Treasury. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to Treasury and to the historic cash room. Since the American Revolution, Congress has commissioned the Congressional Gold Medal as the highest expression of national appreciation for distinguished achievements and contributions. The medal was first awarded in 1776 by the Second Continental Congress to George Washington, General George Washington. Today we join together to honor President Anwar Sadat of blessed memory and his heroic contributions to peace with Israel and the broader Middle East. He was the first Arab leader to visit Israel in an official capacity to sign a peace treaty with its historic adversary. In the words of Prime Minister at the time, Menachem Begin, President Sadat exemplified, quote, the human value that can change history, civil courage. Personally, I remember watching with tears in my eyes in November 1977 as President Sadat alighted his plane at Ben-Gurion Airport and was embraced by Begin. As you know, today marks the 41st anniversary of the signing of the Camp David Accords that paved the way for the formal peace treaty between the Arab Republic of Egypt and the State of Israel that has endured and indeed flourished. As we unveil the design of the Congressional Gold Medal, we not only recognize the contributions of a great man and peacemaker, but we hope to introduce Anwar Sadat and his heroic life to a new generation of Americans that will demonstrate that peace can be achieved when good men and women are prepared to sacrifice for it. Thank you, Color Guard. I would like to personally welcome everyone to the Department of Treasury. Today, we have the unique opportunity to recognize and honor the achievements and vision of President Anwar el Sadat of Egypt. President Sadat's bold leadership was critical to reaching peace with Israel and advancing the interests of peace across the region. God, filled with mercy, dwelling in the heaven's height, bring proper rest beneath the wings of your presence, amid the ranks of the holy and the pure, illuminating like the brilliance of the skies the soul of our beloved President Anwar al-Sadat, who may rest in peace. An honor it is for me to be here with you. I look out in the audience and I see friends people that I respect and admire, uh, people that have worked with us, Ezra and others, as we've gone through what has been a long, long process to get to this day. Uh, sitting behind me, Shafiq, uh, Ambassador, uh, Mr. Sadat, and others, it's an honor to, uh, to have worked with you and to continue to work with you on this. And I'm going to speak. I think that uh, the person that we're here to honor today Mr. Sadat, his family and his legacy, was someone who transcended really generations. I think we honor someone who truly embodies statesmanship. He did something that was hard, he, but he did it because he thought it was the right thing for his people and for the region and to, as a demonstration of peace, not only to those who were impacted it directly, but to, frankly to the rest of the world. Uh, I believe he is a shining example of someone who truly did make a difference. It's I decided really to speak my mind and my heart, which is really it's, uh, will be a great evidence. That's how the 
President Sadat, late President Sadat, God bless his soul, impact not only on me or my family and all Egyptian people. I'd like to special thanks for the, the four sponsors, the main sponsor, Congressman Chris Stewart. Congresswoman Grace Mink, <laughs> Senator Orrin Hatch, <laughs> and Senator Ben Cardin. There's a special recognition to my friend Gamada Sadat, President Anwar Sadat's son, for being with us today. He's an exceptional human being, one of whose courage, leadership, unfailing instinct, heroic vision for peace, and strength of implementation that knew no bounds. Think about it, how he was able to implement that vision and at what cost. As you are proud of your father, Gamal, so are all peace-loving Egyptians, Israelis, and citizens of the world. This medal is just a recognition of that. Because it is your father that we owe the peace between Egypt and Israel, it is your father who gave us direction, not only for peace in the Middle East, but in the world as a whole. And it is your father that leaders of today, given the world we live in, should look up to, in order to make this world a more stable and more secure world for the next generations to come. Having the late President Sadat honored with a Congressional Gold Medal will further reinforce that the message of belief and hope that the vision of a Middle East not be set by war, but rather with tolerance and peace is still possible and urgently needed. Perhaps to summarize the virtues of the late President Sadat, it is worthwhile to quote the late President Reagan when he said this, in the recent past there have been few foreign leaders who have truly captured the hearts of the American people. Anwar Sadat is one of those rare occasions, rare exceptions. Historians often argue about whether events are shaped by people or people by events. There is little doubt that the man we honor this evening, President Reagan continued in saying, is an individual who shaped history. What was it that made it such a solid resolution? In my humble opinion, it was Anwar Sadat's remarkable courage and sensitivity. Sadat's surprised visit to Israel, including his historical address at the, uh, at the Knesset, provided the anxiety-stricken Israeli public with a much-needed psychological breakthrough. With one human gesture, he was able to effectively break decades of hostility and animosity. Diplomacy at its best. When President uh, Sadat made his courageous decision that uh, peace is better than war. Uh, the founder of our company, the late Dov Lautman, decided that just the signature on a piece of paper is not enough for peace. Peace means cooperation, coexistence, working together, and he did something remarkable. He decided to move a substantial part of the manufacturing capacity of Delta Galil to Egypt. Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the obverse design. Designed by the United States Mint Chief Engraver Joe Mena, who's with us here today, the front of the medal portrays a large dramatic portrait of the third president of Egypt, Mohammed Anwar El Sadat. The composition is designed for the portrait to be sculpted in a manner of ancient Egyptian relief with the figure inset to the surface of the metal and is featured sculptured flush with the metal surface. The inscription Anwar El Sadat is incused along the right border. The back of the medal depicts the unknown shoulders memorial and Anwar El Sadat's tomb with the inscription, he lived for peace and died for principles. Anwar El Sadat, 1918 to 1981. 
an act of Congress, 2018. Thank you, Director Ryder, and your staff for this magnificent design. Before we close this afternoon's program, it is really my special honor to introduce to you the son of Anwar and Jihan Sadat, their son, Gamal Sadat. We are honored that he could be with us this afternoon. Would like to ask him to say a few words, Mr. Sadat. Gentlemen, <clears throat> it is a great honor to be with you today on behalf of my mother, sisters, and the entire Sadat family. We are all deeply grateful to Senator Hatch, Senator Cardin, Representative Stewart, and Representative Meng for sponsoring the Anwar Sadat Centennial Celebration Act. We equally are grateful to the members of the 115th Congress who co-sponsored their bill to Ezra Friedlander, Shafiq Gub, and the entire Sadat Medical uh, Medal Commission, and last but not least, Egypt's Ambassador Yasser Reda. Thank you all for the tremendous effort you have exerted to make this possible. I know many of you expected to see my mother. Believe me, she wishes she could be here. Knowing she wouldn't be here with us today, she requested I share this message. End quote. Dear friends, although I could not be with you, I wanted you to know that I am grateful beyond words to the United States Congress. My family and I are humbled by this unique honor and are best you are bestowing upon the memory of Anwar Sadat, the husband and father we love. If Sadat was, were still with us, he would tell you that he never pursued peace to earn honors such as this one. Fame and recognition were never his motivation, never his guiding star. To him, peace was not a political strategy to court approval or personal victory. To the contrary, my husband believed peace with Israel was his sacred duty, not only to God, but also to the people of Egypt and Israel and the whole world. For peace, Anwar Sadat gave his life. This is his legacy. You are honoring Anwar Sadat and reminding Americans of the vital role your country played in planting the seeds of peace in the Middle East. Again, I must express my deep appreciation for this distinguished medal and the great honor you are bestowing upon my father. And finally, I hope we could all live according to these words my father spoke on that day in the Knesset. They are truly, they are true now as they were then. Quote, when the bells of peace ring, there will be no hands to beat the drums of war, unquote. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you again to everyone who attended today, today and especially those who were able to make this, uh, this event, this, this gold medal happen, including the, the gold medal commission as well as my staff and the staff of the Treasurer of the United States, Jovita Carranza, who's here with us, the, the, uh, the Treasurer of the United States. And by gathering here today to remember President Sadat's commitment to peace and the ultimate price he paid for making peace, we are recommitting ourselves to further his quest for peace.